My name is Simon Dunna and I'm the lecturer for the FE1 constitutional course. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to give you a short introduction to the course and what I'll be covering on it. Constitutional law is a little bit different than the other FE1 subjects and that's simply because it changes every single year. Every single year there's about 10 or a dozen hugely significant constitutional cases decided and they form the priority of your focus for any particular constitutional exam. In your syllabus, your examiner expressly says that what you'll be expected to know for your exam is an up-to-date knowledge of constitutional law. The good news from that end is that he rewards your studying of the new cases by putting them on the paper. The bad news is obviously you probably haven't studied them in college because they didn't exist when you did your law degree or diploma, but they now do exist. And that's one of the things that, that I'll be doing in this course, is bringing you up to speed with whatever the recent developments are. The other thing is obviously general revision, but then thirdly, and this is common to, to all the FE1 subjects, is a real exam-focused approach. And your examiner asks you four types of exam questions. One of them is, what you're probably used to doing is a straightforward essay question on a particular topic or topics. The other is a problem question, which again, you're probably used to if you've studied law before. Nothing too complicated about that. But then the other two, and this sounds very straightforward, but it's actually what makes the exam, in my opinion, a little bit tricky, is sometimes you're asked to do a case note and you're given four questions and you're asked to write a note on two of them. That means that there's five questions on the paper, so now one-tenth of your exam is spent dealing with a particular case that you haven't chosen to write about and your examiner has told you to write about that case. That can be difficult because that means that in theory every single case that's on the course is potentially examinable. I and mean, then part of my role is to take you through the course and sort of highlight which cases are likely to be considered as sort of prime candidates for that type of question. And then the fourth type of um, question that your examiner examines you in is sort of the big case, so the whole question on a recent, um, you, well, usually a recent case. So in that case that if you're being given five out of eight questions, one of those five questions can be on one particularly recent and important case. So again, that's a rough overview as to what I'll be doing in this course and the areas I'll, I'll be focusing on, bringing you up to speed on what the recent developments are and then of course going through the, the entire syllabus which is pretty much everything to do with constitutional law and picking out what's important, what's examinable and most importantly how to study it because the syllabus for constitutional law is massive and it's all about getting the correct approach, an exam focused approach so that you study the material in the right way and you prepare it in the right way. Thank you.